Welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. My name is Chris Griffin, and today I will be discussing the ceilings effect on diffuser throw. Open ceilings have continued to become more popular over the past several years. With that, we've seen a lot of diffusers that were originally designed and tested for installation in a traditional ceiling that are being installed in an open or exposed ceiling, such as the picture shown. When you look at performance data for various products, it's important to know if the data is presented is assuming that there is a surface effect or a free discharge. Performance data for ceiling diffusers is typically presented with horizontal data, assuming that there will be a ceiling in place. When you have a surface effect, the air hugs the ceiling and the momentum of the jets carry the air further than if you had no ceiling in place. Net result is without the ceiling, you get about a 30% reduction in throw values from published data. When there is a ceiling, the air discharges a diffuser typically at the angle matching the angle of the back pan. A small low pressure zone is created along the ceiling that pulls the air back towards the ceiling. This is called a Coanda effect and is discussed in several of our podcasts to varying degrees. Some products, like our Omni or TMRA, have internal Coanda pockets, which will cause the air to discharge in a horizontal direction even when there is no ceiling in place. This is useful to control the direction of the discharging air, but without a ceiling in place, the throw of the air is subject to the 30% reduction previously discussed. Other products like our TMR, not the TMRA, or perforated diffusers like PAS, PCS, PMC, do not have the internal quanta pockets. For these products, when used in an exposed ceiling, the air will typically continue in a direction following the contour of the back pans once it leaves the diffuser, as seen in the video. Also in this case, the throws will be subject to the 30% reduction from published data. For products like Flowbar, which has either high throw pattern controllers or jet throw pattern controllers, you have performance data that is mixed. The horizontal data shown for a high throw assumes a ceiling effect. The vertical data for the jet throw assumes no ceiling effect. Generally speaking, any diffuser that has horizontal and vertical throw data will have a ceiling effect for the horizontal data and will not include a ceiling effect for the vertical data. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking the time out with us.